what is going on y'all it's your boy i'm back with another reaction video today i'm gonna react to why k-pop reaction sucks i'm gonna check it out and see what it's talking about if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe with notification bell we know for the do let go channel today we're gonna be reacting to a new bts song called white noise oh Oh, hey, okay, okay, oh, okay. oh, oh, yo, this song is fire, dude. Oh, <laughs> this song is so bad, bro. Reaction channels have been a massive growing industry within YouTube. One could argue that currently this is the era of reaction channels. This video is going to be covering the K pop reaction community. I myself used to react to a lot of K pop, I actually started as a K pop reactor. Being someone who used to watch a lot of K pop reactions, on top of that, be a reactor himself. There are issues that I have with the reaction community. From my knowledge, no reactor has ever made a video talking about this, or at least a tweet or something like that. First things first, let me address, no, I'm not doing this for hate because for some of, If this wasn't something that I legitimately saw wrong with the reaction community, Because some of these reactors, they are faking, bro. I don't dislike all K-pop reactors. They are fake. Just 95% of them. For the reactors that I do have a problem with, however, my issue is mainly with their content created, not them as a person. Some reactors that I have a problem with seem really cool, actually. And though I don't like their reactions and their content, I'd be totally down to hang out with them if ever we met. Now that we got the disclaimers out of the way, now we can get into the real meat of the video. Okay. So without okay. further ado, let's go. <laughs> My first problem with K-pop reaction channels is that they're dishonest. I can guarantee you 99% of K-pop reactions yeah, to any song yeah. or any album is going to be all positive. My problem you, with most reactions right. is that they lie and say something is good even if it's not. The whole point of reactions is to react to something and give your own take on it. I understand if you're a fanboy and you want to see other people fanboy along with you, but if it's not a genuine opinion, it doesn't mean anything. What's the point of being a reaction channel if you just fake all of your reactions? At that point, you might as well just label yourself as a hype man. If you just labeled yourself as a K-pop hype man, I would have much more respect to you as a content creator because your description is more prevalent to what content content you're making being a reactor means you have to genuinely react to things yeah. not fake a reaction to get on the good side of k-pop fans the best example that i could think of of this would be bris life he's been one of the main reactors that i've been watching and i gotta tell you with every single video he's made he's been nothing but positive and that's for hundreds of videos i don't care who you are or how much stuff you love in the world. <laughs> reacting to hundreds of music videos and hundreds of different songs and liking every single one every of them, single one seriously there's expect something you wrong believe that it bothers my mind as to how naive his fans must be if they think what he's putting out is genuine reactions i will tell you the likelihood of him being actually genuine in his videos is about one thousandth of percent and you know what he just might like all of those hundred songs that he was reacting to maybe that thousandth of a percent is actuality but honestly i ain't betting my money on that. as far as i've seen from all the genres of reaction channels i watch from anime to rap or just even general reaction channels k-pop reactions are the absolute worst when it comes to honesty. I don't know why this happens, but most reactors are just not genuine with their reactions. Either because they, they have you know, more, get them views, or maybe more fans, you know? Get them <laughs> by idols, or maybe they want to be part of a KCON panel. I don't know. No, and no, I'm not no. going to sit here and act like I don't want that. Of course I would want an idol to notice me. Or of course I would want to be part of KCON. But I'm not going to sacrifice my own integrity to get there. If I ever get popular, I want to do it right. <laughs> This is going to be a sub point to part one where my second problem actually stems off of my first problem, which is predictability. I can guarantee you right now, the first video that I click of Briss Life, his newest video, where he's reacting to a new K-pop song, he's going to like it. I know for a fact he's going to like it because he's done that for essentially all for of his other videos. thousand times. Let's see. <laughs> this 
see no mystery to any of just them. If I immediately rock channel to a BTS song I know they're gonna like it that's what's bugging me because it's so boring why would you want to follow a reactor that just does nothing but give praise to everyone and before you say, oh, it's because we want to be respectful to the idols and the artists. Listen, you can still be respectful and yeah. not like the music. In fact, I would argue the opposite, that not being genuine with your reactions, that in and of itself is disrespectful to the artist. I'm sure if some of you music artists are watching, music artists really do appreciate constructive criticism. It's the one of the only ways that they can get feedback to improve themselves. Imagine if you were a music artist with just Yes Men as your audience. Every single song you would make, you would put out, you would put your blood, sweat, and tears into making that song you put it out and then everyone says oh this is the greatest thing ever i love this song without even giving it a second thought putting your effort into every uh. single song you make and hoping you would get genuine reviews from it but everyone just keeps saying it's good in my view that would just kill your passion why would you even try anymore they're gonna say it's good regardless yeah. you could fart into the mic, auto-tune it, put a little beat on it, put it out, and people will say it's amazing just because they are your because yes Because they are man. faking. I don't consider myself a consistent artist, but I don't see why that would be fun to any of you. It is so much... Yo, he, he is saying the right thing there. This is it's true. This is true more fun to follow someone who gives true. out genuine reviews who will blatantly say that they don't like something and don't care what people think just because they don't like something kind of like neutral about this song like i don't hate it but it's not my bop or anything it's not my bop or anything <laughs> That is an infinitely more interesting reactor to me than any of these other freaking bozos who just say everything is good. Take for example one reactor I follow, and I actually subscribe to her on Patreon, uh, D Chanel. She didn't really react to a lot of K-pop in her YouTube channel, but in Patreon she's been reacting to a lot more K-pop. And most of the time she just sits there, like that. But you know what, I don't care, it's fine, because that's her <laughs> genuine reaction. <laughs> I don't like when videos are overly edited like this. Um, this was terrible. <laughs> this is not my type of humor at all. Like, I hate when videos are this heavily edited. It's just annoying. And I could tell at the very beginning that I wasn't gonna like it. Like, I already knew based on what they were doing. I've seen more often than not K-pop requests for her that she said she just didn't like then liked I'm pretty sure out of all the K-pop reactions I've seen of her she probably liked one video but you know what that's fine because her being genuine makes me value her channel more as a content creator I'm actually gassed because I actually sub to the tier that where I can give her requests and I have a whole ass playlist in my Spotify account just for songs that I think she would like and even if she doesn't like it that's fine because people can still have opinions you gotta respect that my big issue is that people like honesty but only if it suits them everyone says oh I want you to be honest Oh, I want you to be honest. But as soon as you say something bad about them, they're like, oh my God, why are you being so mean to me? You told me to be honest with you. What? what yeah. Where's that same energy? Yeah. Keep that same energy. I went off on a little bit of rant there, but you get what I'm saying. Now that I've finally given you my spiel on why K-pop reactions suck, them being dishonest, predictable, and just flat out boring, what is the one solution to all of this? What is something that every single person can do that would immediately fix my problem with the reaction community like that? What one action they can do that immediately fixes all of my problems with the K-pop reaction community? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here we go. How to save K-pop reactors. I finally figured out the formula. What you gotta do is you gotta take the number 69, right? You gotta divide that by 1738 and you got to times that by 420 and if you solve all of this you're gonna get a certain number right you got to do here you got to plug it into this equation that I've made for this problem which would be 7x plus 7 equals 25 right I don't know if any of you guys have taken calculus but what you got to do is you got to integrate this equation here so 7x integrated would be 7 halves x squared right so 7 integrated would be 7 X and then 25 integrated would be 25 X and now you got to have a constant which would be plus C check it out that's what this is right here so you use this number as C right you plug all of this in you would be 7 halves X squared plus 7 X equals 25 X plus parentheses 69 over 1738 plus times sorry 420 so that is your equation right there so what you got to do is you got to solve this i've already plugged it into my calculator and x here equates to the solution to my problem which would be 
be honest. That's it. That's it. I don't understand how hard that is. Just be freaking honest in your reactions and everything will be okay. Y'all are wondering why I'm so mad about this. It's because the solution is so simple. Just be honest. Yeah. And the K-pop reaction community would be so much better. I'm pretty sure idols and the songwriters can take criticism. If they were really butthurt of every single negative review on their music, then they shouldn't be a music artist. They should go find a different career. A big reason on what it means to be a music artist. Lying about them and saying everything about their music is good. It doesn't accomplish anything other yeah. than to make you look good. My point is just let's be honest. And all Just be honest, reactions. bro. That's it. And y'all will be so much more fun to watch. Anyways, guys, it's going to be the end of my rant. Hope you guys aren't too mad on my take. No, no, on that's the, the, that's the real TV. fact, though. You know what? If you don't, it is what it is. I feel good getting this off my chest. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Yo, that's the right thing, bro. This is true. This is true. If you watch out all this K pop, I've reacted um K pop music some. Because some I reacted that because I like some, some I did not even to the extent you know when they are releasing song, everybody just you know hey hey hype and doing all this. No no, it's not true. If I if I see something I don't like, I will say, hey, bro. And there's a lot of fake reactors right here. That's a lot of fake reactors. That's the true. That's the true fact, bro. Okay guys, I hope you all enjoyed this. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, share my videos. And if you want to see more, let me know in the comment section. See y'all. Peace out.